welcome to another video. Today it is part three of the new look 6080 sew along. Today we're going to be putting together the jacket shell. So let's get started. Step one of the instructions, which is stay stitch neck edges of front and back. So the neck edge of the back pieces and the front pieces. And we're going to stay stitch at three eighths of an inch. But before I take the fabric off the pattern piece, you want to make sure that you've marked in all your notches. And this one here, you want to mark your notches on the fabric only, not the lining, because this is cut on a fold and you definitely don't want to cut into that. And then if you remember, we made little 5 eighths of an inch marks on our pattern pieces. And for that one, I have just notched the lining fabric, not the main fabric, because that's where we're going to put our pleat in, so that this is our pleat for extra movement. So I have put in all of my notches. I'm just going to mark in this little dot here, and then I can take this off and stay stitch my neckline. And again, for the front piece, Mark in all of your notches in any, so we've got the centre front big circle there. Just going to put that on and then uh, we can take it off and stay stitch this front edge here. Okay, so stay stitching is done. Next one is stitch front to side front press seam towards front edge. So we've got our side front there. I've put all my lining pieces to the side and I have also put a pin in the each side of the fabric to mark which is the wrong side and which is the right side so the wrong side is the one where you can see the pin just because this is the same both sides and I don't want to accidentally sew the wrong piece to the wrong piece so I'm going to put in again all of my notches any markings and I'm going to sew this to the front edge both sides okay so I have pinned my front to my side front and I've matched up the raw edges but what you want to remember here is that it's the stitching line that needs to match up not necessarily the raw edge and I've got my scent my front piece on top because that's the one that's going to if anything goes wrong it, this is the one that's going to get the puckers in it so I want to sew with this side up so that I can manipulate my fabric to make sure that it all behaves itself so you want to pin your notches together first so there's a notch around there and a notch up here then pin the edges together and make sure that your seam allowances match up. They do when they're lying flat. And then you fill in the rest of the pins, easing things in. And as I say, sew with your center front or the front piece up and your side front on the bottom because this will be the one that misbehaves and gets puckers in it. So just take it slowly, 5 eighths of an inch the whole way round and repeat for the other side. It doesn't mention this in the pattern, but I've actually, before I've pressed anything, once I've sewn, once I've sewn my seam and before I press anything, I've trimmed my seam allowance in half, and then I've just clipped into the seam allowance around the curve to help that lie flatter. So we want to press this all towards the front edge, so towards the stay stitched edge that we made earlier. So I'm gonna go press both of these, and then I will be back and we can sew the back. So the next thing it wants us to do is step number three, stitch centre back seam of back sections. That's going to be this one at five eighths of an inch. Stitch back to side back se sections, press seams towards centre. So we're going to do the same thing that we did for the front. We're going to trim it down and clip into the curve there just to make everything lie a little flatter. And then stitch front to back at shoulder seams up here. So I'm going to get the back sewn together, the side back sewn on, and it's going to be the same process that we used for this. It's not quite as great a curve as the front one. Okay, so I've sewn the back seam together at 5 eighths of an inch, and I have pinned on the side backs to the centre back. And again, I've matched the notches, matched the raw edges, and then filled the rest of the pins in. I'm going to fit, uh, sew it with the centre back side up and the side back side down, because if anything's going to misbehave, it's going to be this bit round here. 5 eighths of an inch, and I'm going to do that on both sides. So I've sewn that all together, I've trimmed down the seam allowance and then again I have clipped into the curves just to help it lie a little flatter. I've actually not pressed the front pieces and I'm going to sew them to the shoulder seams 
the hair before I take everything up to press it because I just, you know, get as many things done whilst you sat down as can, get as you can, and then get as many things done at the ironing board as you can. So I'm going to sew the front to the back at the shoulder seams. Okay, so I have the shoulder seams pinned together. I've matched up the notches and we've got the right side to right side. So I'm going to sew that at five eighths of an inch. I the next thing I'm going to do once I've pressed is actually sew the side seams up so I'm going to deviate from the pattern but I'm not going to do that at this moment in time because it's going to be much easier to press everything with the uh, side seams open. So I'm just going to get the shoulder seams sewn down at 5 eighths of an inch. Okay so I have pressed the princess seams towards the centre and at the back I've pressed them towards the back. I have pressed the back centre seam open and I have pressed the shoulder seams open. So from here on in we are deviating from the pattern. So the next thing I want you to do is sew your side seams together at 5 8 of an inch and if we've trimmed it all right then our raw edges should be meeting up at the back and they do which is a very good sign. So we're going to sew these together at 5 8 of an inch and then press those open. Then we're going to move on to the sleeves. Okay so we're going to work on the sleeves now. Uh, the only real note I want to say is that rather than put in a dot for the centre for the shoulder seam I actually just make a notch there and then I've marked in these two dots which is where we're going to gather and they will match up with the pattern pieces that we have just made. We've got our, sing our double notch for the back, single notch for the front. Then the other thing that I like to do is just press up the hem allowance before I sew anything together just because it's all flat and it just makes life a little bit easier. So I am going to do all of those things and then sew the sleeve together. Okay, so as I said, we aren't following the instructions anymore We have, because we're lining ours. And guess what? We get to do all these same steps that we've just done with the lining. Oh, yes. But first, sleeves. So I have e-stitched between the double notches and the single notch on each of the sleeve caps. I've done that with my longest stitch length on my machine and I've done it three eighths of an inch away and then another three eighths of an inch away from that. So the actual stitching line is going to fall in between here which hopefully should make it really easy to get the gathers nice and evenly dispersed or get the excess, not gathers because we don't want gathers, get the excess material nice, nice and evenly dispersed. So I have sewn those on both of the sleeves. As I mentioned I've also pressed up the hem allowance just so that I have that Mem that crease there for, for when I come to actually hem the sleeves later. So what we need to do now is sew the sleeves together at 5 eighths of an inch with the seam allowance unpressed, so like the seam allowance down. So we get, we've got the crease but we're sewing the seam allowance like that together. And again I'll show you when I've pinned because doing it with one hand is difficult. I have sewn the seam of the sleeve at 5 8 of an inch so I'm now going to go and press this open and then we can get these installed into our jacket. Okay so we need to pin our sleeve into our jacket with the right sides together. You want to match up your underarm seam, you want to match up your shoulder seam with that uh, centre notch that I marked earlier, you want to match up your double notches which is the back of your jacket and your single notch which is around here somewhere, there you go, the front and then you're going to very gently pull on your gathering stitches to ease in the sleeve cap to the arm thigh. I think that's the way you say that. And so lots and lots of pins and you're going to be sewing with the sleeve face up under your presser foot. So 5 eight eighths of an inch all the way around. Make sure that you don't get any lumps, bumps, puckers in there. So go slowly, adjust and um, so the whole way around, back stitch at the start and at the end. Okay, so once you've got your stitching in, you then want to take out the e stitching that we put in. So we're going to take out this one and this one, and that will give us a nicely set in sleeve. So yeah, that's going to be removed. So we're going to repeat that on the other side. Okay, so now that we have put our sleeves in we're going to go back to step six and we only got halfway through that so we are going to clip back neck edge of jacket to stay stitching on outside pin collar under collar side to neck edge 
matching centre seams and large dots, placing small dots at shoulder seams and base. So the first thing I've done is clip to the stay stitching around the curved edges. This will help us pin in our collar nice and flatly. So we've got our collar piece here and you've got the under collar is going to go against the outside of the jacket and you're going to match up your centre back then the small dots are going to match up with the shoulder seams and then the large dots are going to match up at the front and we're going to pin that all the way around and we're going to baste it in at again a quarter of an inch so I'm going to pin mine and then I'll show you once I've got the collar pinned on I'm actually going to sew from the center back down to one end and then I'm going to come back and sew from the center back to the other end and that way hopefully everything should go in nice and evenly and we're basting this in so we're going to follow the same line of basting stitches that we sewed our collar shut with earlier So if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments section down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.